I'm hungry. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go try this friendly experiment from your friends at Friendly's eggnog flavored ice cream? Made with real skim milk and pasteurized egg yolk, spiced up with a generous shaking of nutmeg. But grab it while you can, it's only here for a limited time. Before I eat this object of strangeness that sits before me, uh, first let me talk about today's change, this week's change for Limbo Grub. Uh, turns out that I'm changing one of the changes. Um, you might be familiar with that, uh, you know, our little advertisement, our sponsors. I, I hate to say to my sponsors, I I'm sorry, we're still gonna honor you, but we're gonna be doing that at the end of the program from now on. So stay tuned to the end of the program to enjoy these people's products and what they're trying to sell you. Uh, but to do it at the beginning of the program, it kind of messes with my, my rhythm a little bit. So um, it's, it's always hard to come up with some kind of scheme or some kind of, some kind of, uh, like a, like a bit to surround the whole, you know, me freeze framing and all that. So it's, it's you know, that's going to go by the wayside. But don't worry, all you fans of the, of the, because I know there's tons of you out there, all you fans of the sponsors out there, the sponsor's still going to be at the very end of the video. So that spiel's out of the way. And I'm looking at Friendly's Eggnog Flavored Ice Cream. I apparently do everything on this show. I do alcoholic beverages, I do hard alcohol, I do beef jerky sticks, I do fish in a can. I... What's next? Am I gonna be eating like, like Play-Doh? Am I gonna be smoking cigars? Am I gonna be eating Vaseline? I mean, what's on and what's off the table? I guess whatever appears in the, the wicker basket courtesy of the Divinity Crate, it's fair game. So I'm, I'm helpless to, to whatever they supply me, but... A lot of people have mixed feelings on eggnog. Um, a lot of people drink eggnog come Christmas time. Um, I, you know, I kind of like it. I don't like it with alcohol in it, but I do like it, you know, fresh out of the carton. Kind of weird to think that about what it actually is. Like it's a dairy product with like an egg just floating around in it, like a like an unborn bird just turned into water and just like floating around in this this carton. You know, come to think of it, human beings and eggs, our weird relation we have with eggs. It's, you ever just stop and think about how freaking creepy it is? I mean, we, we hide Easter eggs around on Easter and kids are like, oh, I found one. And they're, you know, they like grab it in their hands. They put it in their little basket. Or, or like when, if you go to a block party, they have like the egg toss. You like, you, you toss the egg across the, the, the street and you like, you go on opposite ends of the street. If you're really, really good, you make it that far. And you're tossing egg as far as you can. Your guy, the other guy's got to try to catch it without it breaking in their hands. Or then they have that other one, like you see like at field day at school, like little kids like put like a spoon in their mouth and they have an egg in the spoon and they're running and they have to try to balance it. And, and if it falls off the spoon, of course it breaks and they lose. You think about what an egg is, it's a freaking, it's an unborn dead chicken. It's, it's like pulling a fetus out of somebody and use it and playing with it as a toy. I, I don't know, am I, am I warped for thinking that? It, it's the truth. I mean, that's exactly what we're doing. Think about that. The next time you go to like a, a block party and you play the egg toss, maybe you should sit that one out because it's, it's, it's seriously, I, I want to keep it PG, but it's effed up. It's, it's, it's weird. It's really, really hard for me not to curse over this, but it's just, I don't know. And you know what? I'm not this crazy. I just do it for entertainment purposes only. I, I play with eggs just like everybody else. So, um, well, here is me eating, here is me, great English there. Here's me eating delicious eggnog flavored ice cream. Let me, let me give it a whiff, although I don't think ice creams really have a scent. It definitely smells like, it smells like when you walk into a Carvel, that weird, that weird odor in the air that just smells like, it's kind of hard to put a, a word, like a description to that Carvel smell, but it smells like sprinkles in the air. Yeah, it kind of smells like that. But, oh well, let me give it a taste, see, and I'll let you know what I think. Holy Mother McCree! Wow, that is not what I expected. Hmm. <laughs> this tastes so, so, so alcoholic. I don't taste eggnog, all I taste is rum! It's, it's weird, it's, it tastes nothing like eggnog, it tastes like straight rum. 
you know, and I guess, you know, when you're eating rum flavored ice cream, it's not as bad as you were to drink it like straight. Like if I were to drink straight rum, I would want to vomit right here, but this is a little bit pleasant at least, but you're not getting what you're bargaining for. If you were to eat this and enjoy it, you probably, you know, answer positively to Sal Jack's question. You mean you drink alcoholic eggnog on Christmas? Yeah, exactly. And I don't drink alcoholic eggnog on Christmas. It's just, this is not what I expected. And I, I guarantee you a lot of people buying this, they're going to be like thrown for a loop. They're like, what the heck did I just buy? This is not what was advertised. You got to take that into effect because... It's like, I don't know, it's like going to the zoo and seeing like a zebra where Harambe is supposed to be. I just don't understand. It's supposed to be eggnog. And it tastes like rum. I, I don't get it. I mean, how do I grade it? Because I gotta... I gotta take that into account, man. I gotta... It's just... If I were to give this a star rating, I mean, I gotta... I gotta be hard on it because it doesn't taste like eggnog, it tastes like rum. And to a lot of people, rum is a pleasant taste. Like to a lot of the pirates, I know I made this joke once before, but I'm gonna say it again. Army mateys, yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. You're gonna love this ice cream pirates out there. But for me, I I'm gonna give it two stars because as good as, it, as, as good as it is, number one, I wanted eggnog flavored ice cream and I didn't get that. And number two, I wouldn't be able to eat a lot of this. Like, when I eat ice cream, I like to pile it high. This, I can eat maybe a few spoonfuls and I'll be done. Maybe if I drenched it in like chocolate and stuff like that, like put all sorts of like, like sprinkles on it and you know, maybe some marshmallow fluff, it would hide that rum taste a little bit. But as it is, it's just, I don't know, eat it a spoonful at a time if you are light, you know, a lightweight when it comes to alcohol. So this is your good buddy Scotty, hottie Scotty, Scotty, hottie, hottie, hottie Scotty. Oh my god, maybe there is alcohol in this. It's your good buddy hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying, until next time, I'll see you in limbo. This episode of Limbo Grub is brought to you by MCI Worldcom, your leader in American telecommunications. Through use of optical and electromagnetic systems, I could do business with Ted Fowler from a deer stand across the world. When your cell phone or some other gimmick goes down the crapper, depend on MCI Worldcom to keep you connected.